Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Pella. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. I'd like to start this morning with the scripture reading from Acts chapter 15, verses 12 through 21. The whole assembly kept silence and listened to Barnabas and Paul as they told of all the signs and wonders that God had done through them among the Gentiles. After they finished speaking, James replied, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has related how God first looked favorably on the Gentiles to take from among them a people for his name. This agrees with the words of the prophets as it is written, After this I will return, and I will rebuild the dwelling of David, which has fallen. From its ruins I will rebuild it, and I will set it up, so that all other peoples may seek the Lord, even all the Gentiles over whom my name has been called. Thus says the Lord, who has been making these things known from long ago. Therefore I have reached the decision that we should not trouble those Gentiles who are turning to God, but we should write to them to abstain only from things polluted by idols and from fornication fornication, and from whatever has been strangled and from blood. For in every city for generations past, Moses has had those who proclaim him, for he has been read aloud every Sabbath in these synagogues. Please join me now in prayer. Dear God, so many people are looking for answers right now in their lives for so many different reasons. And we pray for these people to be comforted by you, Lord, in all that they may do. Show us the good things we often overlook and help us to be content with what we have Forgive us when we compare ourselves to others. Forgive us for longing for things outside of you and your kingdom, Lord. Thank you for loving us right where we are, right as we are. Help us to keep our eyes on you as we go out in this day that you have made. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you right here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a good day today.